What it is, y'all. It's your old boy, Pilk. And, well, I forgot something, so let's talk about it. Okay? We did the video of what's coming. I completely forgot this banner was on its way. Uh, it was even in the news, and I just missed it. Now, I will preface this by saying, yes, while it's a really good value, unless you're drowning in Iris, I'm going to say leave this alone. First of all, these units are not, they are not time limited. So, you know, you hit the banner, you're only doing yourself so much good. Uh, you can update these units with, with prism bonds. You can get them later out of four star tickets. I don't think that they're really the, the, this is not the banner you want to lose your shirt on, especially considering we have the collab and the collab rerun coming up. Now these units did get a bit of an upgrade. Okay. Let's talk about that. But I'm still going to say, I'm still going to preface this by saying, unless you're just drowning in Irish, unless you've got nothing but Iris on your mind and, and that's it. Leave the banner alone, okay? The uh, the 200 the 211 draw pulls, they're a good way to like maybe chase some units, but also remember you have like a what a one or two, one or two percent chance of even getting a four star in the first place. So you could chase it all day and get nothing. Now the guarantees are still gonna be 400 iris, so it's really just not good value for money in my opinion. Now let's talk about the updates. Tione. So, Flash Perfume, before it was 27 MP, it's now 25 MP. Not a huge difference, but it's a thing. Heavenly Blow. Now, this one got a pretty pretty substantial update, okay? And a downgrade in a way, but we'll talk about that here, okay? So, Highlight Magic Attack with Temporary Magic Boost and Light Resist minus 25% for three turns. Pay attention. Highlight Magic Attack with Temporary Magic Boost and Magic Resist and Light Resist minus 25%. For two turns. Good. I mean. So. Good debuff. But. You know. Now you basically have to use her with Argonaut Krazo or Haruhime or someone like that. Now. Granted. To be fair. Since that's the meta. Since. Turn buffs and things like that are the meta. I don't think that's that big a deal. But. It does change it a little bit. Okay. Enlightenment. She goes from 15% magic to 25 and Rigid, she goes from 10% Endurance, Agility, and Dex to 20%. Okay? Uh, her stats do change a little bit here. I'll show you the before and after. So, I'm sorry. That's before Hero Ascension. That's after Hero Ascension. So, those are changes. Tiona. Okay? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Her first skill is MP36. Now it's 26, which is very significant. Uh, ter Termorite Innocence. Goes from 36 to 26 once again. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Her third skill it gets Ultra Uncounterate. And MP goes up. Now, MP on everything else goes down, but the Ultra Uncounterate, it goes up. Very interesting, that. Very interesting. Uh... So, Concentrate, Agility, Dex, and 15% goes up to Martial Arts. Strength, Endurance, Agility, and Dex to 25%. That's really good. And Crush becomes Status Resist. Strength, 15%, becomes Ailment Resist, 15%. So, new numbers and after Hero Ascension. Haruhime. Or, <laughs> Haruhime. God, she looks like Haruhime. Jesus Christ, brain. Eyes. The, the 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 two units look too 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 similar. They real it's like the color palette and everything. They just look too much alike in this this instance. Anyway, eyes the uh, the kimono eyes. So hero section is unlocked. I think that's the same for all of them. Uh, was not unlocked before. So uh, she gets uh, thirty six MP on her first skill. Goes down to twenty nine MP. Uh, Cardinal blade goes from thirty four to thirty one. Not really that significant of a difference. And Pain Blast goes from 39 down to 35. Not crazy. Not the end of the world. And her Enlightenment goes from Magic 15% to Magic 20%. So, the only thing that really changes here in her stats are her Magic skills. So, let's have a little bit of an upgrade. Not not life-changing by any stretch. Okay? Now, Clear Simmer, Leafia, goes from 29 MP up to 32. It goes up, but light damage plus 80% for 4 turns instead of 75%. For four turns. So basically she becomes just a little bit stronger. But 
that's enough to make her significantly stronger once you add all the buffs together. Horoscope Ray goes from 34 MP up to 43 MP, becomes from a highlight to a super light magic attack. Okay. Mirage skill becomes the Avenge skill. Magic 15% becomes when countering regular attack a foe. When, when countering regular attack a foe, damage plus 80% only when target is slow. It's weirdly worded, but basically when your target is in a slow condition, she's in him for 80% more. It's pretty nuts. Rigid becomes Hex. Endurance, Agility, and Dex becomes Endurance, Agility, Dex 25%. 10% becomes 25%. And these are her new numbers. Basically, everything changes with the exception of uh, HP, MP, and Strength. Pretty straightforward stuff. So, good changes to those units, but I'm still going to say leave those banners alone. They're not worth hitting. They're not time-limited. They'll be around. They'll be in the four-star pool. You'll get them eventually. And, you know, with with the collab coming up, I really can't just justify spending, you know, that much iris right now. You remember, a full rotation on the on the the banners generally is about 8000 iris for all the banners give or take. So you want to save that iris. My goal is to have about 8000. I'm on a good path to have even more than that. I might have even 12 by that time. So that's the goal. Like, comment, share, subscribe guys. Let me know if this helped you out by hitting that thumbs up button. Follow Birdman, hit me up on Booker. I'll be back at you guys with more Danmachi here. Uh, when we got it. Also, I was right. War Games is back. Some people thought it wasn't going to be worth mentioning. You know, War Games is back. So do your War Games. Get Iris. That stuff.